Hello Cancer, welcome to your October 2020 monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a collective message, so it will not resonate with everyone out there. Please take what does, leave behind what doesn't. Feel free to check your other planetary placements. If you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation or your energies, please do reach out for a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in two locations. For my Facebook followers, you can find that on uh, by clicking the Book Now button. It'll take you directly to my website. For my YouTube subscribers, followers, and soul family, you can go down to the description box below and uh, click that link. All right, guys, so that there isn't any confusion, I usually upload some monthly videos to my Facebook page and Facebook is not allowing me to upload them for some other reason. I can only go live. So I'm uploading them on YouTube and sharing them to my Facebook. I know, a bunch of craziness, but let's hope that gets worked out. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 2020, most important messages guidance, advice coming through for my Cancer subscribers, my Cancer followers, my Cancer family, please. Yeah. Alright, thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So, my, my YouTube loved ones, please just consider this a bonus. All right, so Cancer, you're getting asked for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So if you are struggling to understand a situation in the month of October, if you are struggling to make a decision or see something clarity, with clarity, ask for assistance from the angels if you need protections and guidance and you know whatever it is that you're in need of reach out to the angels and they will be definitely more than well, more than happy to assist you. I'm definitely being told if you're having trouble speaking or need protection, definitely reach out to Archangel Michael. Beautiful. All right. Let's take a look at the romance angels. What's going on in my Cancer's love life for October 2020, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 2020 and love and romantic relationships that's going on with my cancers at this time. Please show me clearly and precisely. <clears throat> Healing family issues <clears throat> and past life relationships. Bottom of the deck, soulmate. Yes, this is a soulmate. So if you were asking a question, if you've been asking, is this person my soulmate? Your answer is yes. All right, the healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And past life relationship, you have known each other before. So <clears throat> this is kind of diving into those emotional wounds. Anything that's left over as residue from, you know, your earlier childhood. This could be actually healing a family if you're older and adult and married to be healing some family issues within your own family or just kind of going within and just really taking a look at what is you're carrying through with you and what needs to be released and healed. And I feel like for October, it's going to be a month of introspection. And this may be what you need help. I need to ask the angels for help maybe to show you what needs to be healed or help you heal what needs to be healed here. And definitely you have past life. So some of you... Um, are you dealing with somebody that you've had many lifetimes over and over again with? Or this could be somebody from your past returning to your present. All right, Cancer, let's take a look at the tarot and see what is coming through for you for October 2020. I'm going to be drawing four cards for you today, Cancer. The first card is going to be your overall energy, where you're at. Energetically, the second card is going to be their challenge, your biggest challenge for October. The third card will be your advice card, how to overcome that challenge. 
And the fourth card will be your possible outcome or future energy moving into the situation. Now, this can come through in many different guises. This can be a, you know, a situation for career and finances. This could be family, health, love, relationships, friendships, social circles. It can, it can, be, it can resonate in any aspect of your life. So take it as it resonates for you. We are team for cards for my Cancers. Cancers energy is their biggest challenge for October. The advice for overcoming that challenge and the possible outcome future energy coming in. All right, thank you, Spirit. All right, Cancer, you're coming through with a five of swords. So. I'm getting two messages with this. I'm getting the first one is this is definitely a time. I don't know why I'm putting it all the way up there. This is definitely the time for taking a look at where you're com internally conflicted. Again, it's going within. Um, with the Five of Swords, this tells me that there is conflict around you. You could be, you know, surrounded by the out outside um, influences and and people that you could be in an actual physical, you know, conflict arguments. But I feel like this is a lot of internal battle. Like you're battling with yourself. Head over heart is what I'm getting for a lot of you. But the five of swords is also about taking a look at what is best for you, right? The size of swords can often be seen in the negative aspects of being Somebody who is narcissistic, who takes only themselves into consideration, doesn't consider other people, persons, situations, or making decisions, really self-focused. <clears throat> and that may be where you're at right now. And that's not necessarily always a bad thing. Sometimes we have to put ourselves first. So for my cancers, I feel like maybe you're doing a little bit of that right now. Really looking at putting yourself first or needing to. All right, so the challenge for you for the month of October, the biggest one, yeah, is the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy in this moon. It's taking that look at that shadow side, that inside, where our insecurity lies, where our fears lies. It's overcoming fears, right? It's relying on your intuition and allowing it to lead your way through what you don't know and don't understand to the other side. The advice, Three of Pentacles. Um, work on your foundation, put in the work, put in the effort, work with your angels, work with, with, you know, again, this is three of pentacles is working as a team. And, and that is your advice right now. Work with your angels, work with your guides, work with your higher self. Even if you don't believe in angels, if you don't believe in guides, work with your higher self, work with your internal self, because that is going to be your best way of seeing yourself through the situation. Rely on and trust yourself, trust source, whatever that is for you. But definitely if you, you believe, you know, if you are a believer, reach out to those angels and let them help you and guide you and let them, you know, guide you to your intuition and help guide you through this darkness. If you follow this advice, it'll be an end to all those things that you have been worried about and stressing about. Yeah, some of you, this is talking about, you know, two of cups. This is coming together in partnership. A beautiful, long-lasting, soulmate, turn, you know, energy here with the two of cups. Some of you, this is a partnership as in love and romantic relationships. Some of you, this is family and friends. And some of you, this is business deals. But more importantly, I feel like this is you joining you back together as one whole piece, if that makes any sense at all. Some of you, I feel like you're kind of multi-split level here with your energy. You need to integrate all these parts back into one whole person. All right, well, we're going to get some clarifications. Just one card, possibly, on this and see what is going on for my Cancers for October 2020. Please, let's clarify. Your cards on the table for Cancer, please, starting with this Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords energy for Cancer? Please show me clearly and precisely. It's, this is about self-transformation. It's putting an end to that conflict within. It's, it's putting an end to always being the one to sacrifice. 
It's about new beginnings. Leaving behind the old, putting yourself first, transforming your trend, transmuting your energies, and taking a leap of faith in a new direction to bring balance, balance back to your life, to restore it to one whole point. What is this new energy for cancer, please? Mm. Capricorn energy and that devil. It's working um, through your fears. Some of you may be dealing with a third party situation where there's a toxic attachment. It's releasing that. It's seeing past that. For a lot of you, I feel like this is self-imposed limitations with this devil. What is this three of pentacles? Yeah, it's being it, the strength part. I love it. You are stronger than what you know. You are stronger than what you think. This is working together as a team to overcome to your challenges, being in control of your emotions, of your environment, of your life. This is kind of taking back control. Working with the angels to take back control and build your strength. Endurance, yeah, right there. With, there is the Virgo. Part of Virgo, the Hermit, but this is that spiritual wisdom and guidance coming through. All right, and the that card, the the uh, Hermit is also about that self knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. The Page of Cups. So this is moving slowly. If you follow the advice, you work with your you know work with your angels, work with your guides, work with the, within yourself. Be strong, be brave, be courageous, be self-reliant, and you work through your, your limitations, your fears, your shortcomings, the things that have been holding you back, and you put yourself first, and you bring all that to an end, you have beautiful offerings waiting for you on the other side. You have a message of love, maybe even apologies, but I see you slowly moving towards a beautiful, beautiful cup of love here. Renewal, gift from the divine, gift from source. It's gonna to lead to strong, steady growth and expansion for some of you long-term commitments. That will be, yeah, absolutely. Wish fulfillment. It's coming to that place of nine of cups. From the moon to the nine of cups. You're, you're moving towards Realizing your self-value, this is self-love, self-reliance as well. Beautiful energy. All right, Cancer, that is what is coming through for you for October 2020. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If it didn't, that's all right. For my Facebook peeps, please be sure to hit that like, share, and follow button. For my YouTube loves, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.